हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ क्लास टेंथ साइंस वीकली टेस्ट सीरीज फोर अवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज राइट डाउन द टू टू यूजेज ऑफ वॉशिंग सोडा एंड बेकिंग सोडा ईच सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल राइट इम्पॉर्टेंट यूजेज ऑफ वॉशिंग सोडा it is used in glass soap and paper industries it is used to remove permanent hardness of water next are important uses of baking soda it is used as baking powder baking powder is a mixture of baking soda and a mild acid known as tartaric acid when it is heated or mixed in water it releases carbon dioxide that makes bread or cake fluffy it is used in soda acid fire extinguishers our next question is what is meant by hydrogenation what is its use in industry hydrogenation is the process of addition of hydrogen in unsaturated hydrocarbons in the presence of palladium and nickel catalysts to give saturated hydrocarbons its industrial application vegetable oils are converted into vegetable ghee by hydrogenation our next question is how is the small intestine designed to absorb digested food the small intestine has millions of tiny finger like projections called villi these villi increase the surface area for food absorption within these villi many blood vessels are present that absorb the digested food and carry it to the blood stream from the blood stream the absorbed food is delivered to each and every cell of the body our next question is why is the use of iodized salt recommended iodized salt is recommended because iodine stimulates the thyroid gland to produce thyroxine hormone it regulates carbohydrate fat and protein metabolism in our body deficiency of this hormone results in the enlargement of the thyroid gland this can lead to goiter a disease characterized by swollen neck our next question is write any three differences between internal fertilization and external fertilization first we see internal fertilization internal fertilization takes place inside the body of the female whereas external fertilization takes place outside the body of the female internal fertilization occurs on land whereas external fertilization occurs in water in internal fertilization less number of eggs are produced whereas in external fertilization more number of eggs are produced examples of internal fertilization are internal fertilization occurs in cat dog man etc whereas external fertilization occurs in frog fish and other sea animals our next question is explain how sexual reproduction gives rise to more variable variations than asexual reproduction give reasons so its answer is sexual reproduction gives rise to more viable variation 
than asexual reproduction because in sexual reproduction genetic material from both the parents mixed recombination of parent chromosomes by fertilization hence offsprings get both the information and produce mixed characters which are not exactly the same as only mother or father while in asexual reproduction the single parent is involved and thus there is no recombination of chromosomes hence offsprings that produced are the exact copy of their parent so students these were the question answers of our weekly tat series 4 in our next video we will discuss question answers of weekly tat series 5 so thanks for watching our video